Perhaps, weirdly enough, we are approaching season 4 of Dragonflight, a supposed fated season, which seems weirdly enough not really having much of anything fated, because some of the more well-received features of the fated season of Shadowlands was the fated mechanic attached to the raid, to add something extra when you went and revisited the raids you already completed, and then more importantly the fated affix for Mythic Plus, which at the moment, both of these things in the PTR of Season 4 we don't have. However, we have something returning. In Season 4, right now on the PTR, we do have the weekly quest that you usually get from Kazra, a Mystery of War in this case, for example, which awards you with two antique bronze bullions, which is the equivalent of this season's dinar. Now, for everyone who understandably did not play Season 4 of Shadowlands, the Dinar was a feature of Fated Shadowlands Season 4, which allowed you to purchase any weapon or offhand or trinket from any of the Shadowlands raids. You would get a quest requiring you to defeat 30 bosses to get rewarded with the first Dinar, and then the second quest would be 20 bosses for the second dinar, and the last quest would be only 10 bosses for the third and last dinar. This was the, the main thing about the dinar, it was limited, you had a maximum of 3. So the general idea was, okay, I buy myself my best thing slot weapon, and then my two best thing slot trinkets. That's it. Back then in Shadowlands, since we did not have the upgrade tracks on your gear, you had to defeat bosses to acquire ciphers, which you could then combine into an item. That's what you used to upgrade an item from normal to heroic item level, and then from heroic to mythic item level. Now, we have gotten some changes on the PTR of Season 4. You have to go right over this nipple, right over here this nipple right here. Inside you will get your vendors, which some you are already familiar with. You are familiar with something that already exists in the game, this vendor right here, which is for the Mark of Mastery meta achievement of Mythic Plus rating or ahead of the curve to get yourself the guaranteed tier token. You also have this vendor, which is the Omni token from the last boss of a raid to get yourself another tier token, and then you have the three raid vendors. You have Volt, Aberus, and Amir Jassil. So, very simply, you get yourself your bullions, you go in here, and then you buy the item you want, the best in slot item you choose to pick. Now, the differences from Shadowlands is that number one, as you have seen from the quest, you are awarded with two bullions instead of just one dinar like before. Now, this is somewhat explained by the fact that the rewards themselves are also requiring two bullions to buy. But that's the first question. Why exactly do we have two rewarded and we have to spend two to, to buy any item we want compared to just one? What's the difference? The difference is an extra vendor, very simply. Now you have this extra addition that we did not get in Shadowlands, which sells you as we start scrolling for what feels like forever, it is going to offer you the cosmetic appearance of every single weapon or offhand of every raid in Dragonflight in all four different difficulty modes. So the colors of LFR, Normal, Heroic and Mythic difficulty. Here is the easy comparison with Amir Jassil. We can look at Farak and at Vakash. This is Vakash in LFR, which is blue, and then you have normal, which is orange, heroic, it's green, and then mythic is purple. So you have blue, green, orange, and purple. If we go back to this vendor, we're gonna have the purple, and then we're gonna have the orange, and then the green, and then the blue. So you can, with a cost of only one bullion each, you can now buy yourself pretty much any appearance you want on any raid you want, even with something like all the way back to something like Vault of the Incarnate appearances that you can now buy from this vendor. That's the first main difference. What this means though, even more importantly, is that so far we have gotten no indication that this bullion system has a limit. What we mentioned at the start is that the dinar was limited to 3 for the entire season. Which makes sense if the vendors only offered you weapons and trinkets, that's 3 spots, 3 slots, right? So you're done after 3. However, for now, we don't have a limit in the PTR. So this means, first of all, that right now you're also offered not just weapons and trinkets, but any rare item in terms of drop chance. This means rare items like the Seal of the Urnas Chosen, which is a ring, 
or even if we go to all specializations, you're offered the seal of the filial duty, which is another ring as a reward. If you go back to Aberus, you can be offered the Voice of the Silent Star Cloak. If you go to Amirchasil, you're offered the Ouroboreal Necklet, which is a necklace. So it could potentially be not just three slots, it could be four, five, six, even seven slots for you to buy. But that's not all. Not having a limit would allow you much more flexibility. You can now choose, for example, a DPS trinket for single target, for, you know, big cooldowns like the Ashes of the Ember Soul, maybe a maybe a mythic plus mega aoe trinket like like the lower loss for example you could go back to vault of the incarnates and pick yourself some fan favorites like the manic grief torch or perhaps you might want to be doing the split maybe you want to play as a dps get yourself dps trinkets and then as a tank get yourself tank trinkets there are also some cool admittedly quality of life additions like for example now with this vendor you're able to bypass the annoying restriction of being able to get Farax tainted rage heart which is a tank only loot table reward now from this vendor you won't care if you're not a tank you can just straight up buy this trinket so without this uh, three limitation on the dinar on this bullion you can now buy yourself way more items but of course there is more eventually you will run out of things for you to buy at the end of week one you got yourself your weapon at the end of week two and three you got yourself your trinkets you don't really need these special rings from vault the necklace from amir Dossil is a meme you don't want the cloak from sakaret so now you're you're capped three weeks and you got your rewards maybe week four and week five you buy yourself a couple of extra trinkets right to stockpile some of the other trinkets you might need like maybe you know save yourself a different type of trinket etc etc but then you are sort of done right that's where as mentioned this vendor comes in handy you can just start dumping your bullions and in this case it's two per week in any appearance that you want throughout the season you know and if we assume that this season will carry on of course all the way into the release of the next expansion that is going to be somewhere around five months of this season which is going to equal around 20 weeks which is going to equal around 40 bullions so if you spend let's say 10 bullions in three rewards plus a couple of backup trinkets you now are left with 30 plus bullions for you to spend on every one of these appearances and of course it doubles up on multiple characters you play the season with two different characters you can now start stockpiling bullions twice as fast and as mentioned at the very least for now the only requirement for these bullions is the weekly quest from Kazra. so it could be something as easy as doing 10 world quests so even your 385 item level sorry ass hobo character you ditched one week into dragonflight can still get those bullions and can still come in here and buy himself all of these appearances for now there is no there is no limitations on the rewards in the sense that you don't need to have for example cleared vault to have access to the appearances of the related difficulty so even a non-mythic raider can get access to the mythic raiding appearance rewards of these items so as mentioned this bullion reward this weekly reward can be earned by just about everybody now we mentioned shadowlands having you collect currency from boss kills to be able to upgrade these items to upwards of mythic item level in this case of course we have an upgrade track you might not recognize the name of the upgrade track because this upgrade track will be limited to these items the awakened one which as you notice goes all the way up to 12 that's because the item level it starts on is very low is 493 item level but will be able to go up all the way to 9 out of 12 for the normal raid items and then upwards of 12 out of 12 for the very rare specifically higher item level items like the seal of the earnest chosen or if we have to stay within a mirja seal something like the augury of primal flame basically everything that you see as very rare in here will be able to go at upwards at a higher item level that is perhaps the only catch with this system the fact that even though you can get one of these items per week you also pretty much have to spend a whole bunch of crests and 
flight stones for you to upgrade this to an actually good item level. But at the very least, since we have just pointed out that right now this fourth season doesn't really seem to have that many cool changes or additions that you would expect from a fated season, as Blizzard mentioned, it's a season of experimentation and trying new things, which we saw in Shadowlands, but we haven't really seen yet in Dragonflight in terms of cool new things being added, at the very least, this new Denar system is improving upon the previous version of the Denar system. It's, first of all, not limited to three anymore, allowing you much more uh, variance and much more freedom in buying multiple things without having to be locked at just three. Number two, it is not tied to defeating many different bosses in the raid, meaning even anyone who isn't raiding can now get to be rewarded with any of these and number four you can eventually or maybe if you don't even care about getting items in the first place you can just straight up dump all of these bullions into transmog so at the very least we have one w so far for season four the i guess upgrading and updating of the dinar system into the bullion system which seems much much more player friendly than what we got with the dinar in shadowlands now this is of course still with a big asterisk because as mentioned we are just assuming we're just assuming by the weekly quest that right now this bullion reward is not limited to any number you can just buy as many of these as many weeks there are going to be in the season two of them every week if if they end up being somehow limited then of course our judgment on this system might be significantly worse but for now it's a pretty good improvement to this deterministic reward coming in season four so for today on this beginning of april this is all we can share with each other and i'm going to now leave you to the rest of your april's fools i guess thanks of course as usual to all of the patreon supporters as well as anyone who is supporting for free like liking and commenting down below as well as subscribing to the channel itself now with these things out of the way thank you guys again for watching see you guys tomorrow and in the meantime man i was supposed to be done with this video like three hours ago and then i just yeah sometimes it happens